Hello and welcome back. It is Coach Kyra. I'm so excited to get into part three of our 14 part series, how to stop failing at fat loss. I'm really excited to share this step with you and hopefully you've been able to build up some habits and some consistency over the past few weeks so that this step just feels really natural to you. Okay, let's talk about where we have been. First things first is the overlay of the 14 steps, starting with your nutrition. Your nutrition is the most important factor when we start to talk about changing your body composition, improving your health. What you put into your mouth is the first thing that you can control and also the most important thing within your realm of control. So anyone who's trying to get healthy or improve their body composition or love the way they live naked, you need to be starting here with your nutrition. We then graduate from our focus on nutrition, which is these first few videos, into starting to talk about our daily activity. So let's see where we've been and what we need to discuss today. First is nutritional awareness, bringing your mind into the conversation around your food. Next is the quality of your food, ensuring that you're purchasing 80% of the time those real, whole, naturally occurring food sources. And then today we want to talk about daily movement. Okay. When we think about daily movement, I'm not saying we need to spend an hour on the Stairmaster, not at all saying that we need to go do a HIIT class every day of the week. But when we think about daily movement, we think about generally being a little bit more active week after week after week. Okay. When we think about fat burning, we go back to this idea of burning, right? Calorie burning, energy burning throughout the day. When you are sedentary, right, you're probably not burning nearly as many calories as you could be burning throughout the day, okay? And the more calories you burn, the more body fat you lose, the better your body composition, the better your overall health. So how can we burn calories if we're not doing it in the gym? Easy. Moving around, having conversations with your hands, getting a standing desk, taking a few minutes to get up and walk every day, and we'll talk about exactly how we want to improve this daily movement right now. Okay, first things first, let's evaluate where you are throughout the day, okay? First, how often do you walk, okay? If you haven't walked or if you don't walk throughout the week, this is a great opportunity to get some daily movement in to get your body accustomed to burning extra calories through walking. Walking is an underrated form of fat loss. This really low intensity zone two conversational pace while you're walking is such an underrated opportunity to burn body fat, and we should all be leveraging this walking in our daily activity, okay? Do you walk? If you don't walk, we want to add in some walking throughout your week. So where should you start? If you're completely sedentary, maybe we want to go lightly active. So from nothing to maybe two or three times a week, okay? And if you're getting maybe two or three walks throughout the week, maybe we want to graduate to four or five walks. And from four or five, maybe we want to go six days where we're getting some walking, six walking opportunities throughout the week, okay? Maybe you also say, hey, coach, how much walking do I need to do throughout the week? OK, if you are walking on a daily basis, this general advice that we've been given since we were in school about 30 minutes a day of physical activity is a wonderful place to start. OK, so from nothing to about 30 minutes a day from one to five days a week is a perfect zone of opportunity for you to be burning more calories throughout your week. All right. 30 minutes a day is more than enough. But what if you don't have an extra 30 minutes to spend that outside walking, okay? How can you make this happen? An easy way to get some extra steps, right, is one, to just park further away from where you're going. When you go to Target or you go to the grocery store, we're all fighting over those close parking spots. Be that person who parks in the back and makes themselves walk from all the way to the back, all the way from the back to all the way to the front of the building, okay? That's a great way to start out your walking habit. Other thing is maybe find three chunks of time, 10 minutes or so each time throughout your day. At breakfast, lunch, and dinner is a great way to think about finding these 10 minutes chunks of time. 10 minutes after breakfast, 10 minutes after lunch, 10 minutes after dinner. This does two things. One, this gets you in the habit of getting up and moving. But then two, this also helps you better digest your food by instead of sitting on your food after you've consumed a meal, you get up, you take those 10 minutes, you get your walk in. Sometimes I have clients who take five minutes at the top of the hour. For example, noon to 12.05, maybe I'm going to go get a couple of steps in. I have some clients who do walking videos on YouTube, right? They'll search a uh, 20 minute walking video and the, a video will come up on YouTube and you, have, you can just pace in your living room, okay? We wanna start with 
walking. And we want to start with walking and allowing this to be something that's really easy and really passive without having to think too much about it. Okay. So we started with our nutrition. We're improving the quality of our nutrition. We're getting more daily movement. And when we come back next time, we're going to talk a little bit more about your habits, specifically what you do in the evenings and what you do on the weekend. So please do stay tuned. Look for video number four about better overall habits. I appreciate your time today. Hope this video was helpful for you. Real quick, real simple tip to increase your daily movement. And we'll come back with video four really soon.